Hey guys, welcome to Ride the Shine Detailing. I'm Serge Langenden and this is a new ride my vlog. In this video I'm going to show you that a brand new Tiguan is going to get a new car detail. And this means that the car is just received by the dealer and directly to us and we're going to give this car a paint protection. But we would like to show you all the stages before we can even apply a PPF or a ceramic coating because a lot of my clients they ask me why do you have to polish a brand new car or why do you have to do this stage or why do you have to do that stage well I would like to show you in this video that also a brand new car needs a lot of attention one of the first stages is checking if the car doesn't have any damage when you pick up your car at the dealer you're really happy and you really want to see your car, you know, you want to drive it, you want to take it with you and sometimes you forget to give your car a good look and sometimes you miss a damage so when a car comes in I always check on damages so I can report to the owner or to the client and he can go back to the dealer with it or whatsoever so first stage is checking if there's no damage when a car comes in Also, do not forget to look under the bumpers because sometimes there's just damage under here because they hit a high curb or whatsoever or on loading on the truck or the train, it doesn't matter. Sometimes there are damages underneath the front bumper or the rear bumper, so always check it. That's also the same for the side doors, especially with lower cars like Porsches with the side skirts, always check if there's no damage whatsoever. Well the first stage done, I didn't find any damage, so this car is in perfect conditions. Second stage is to removing all the protective materials, all the stickers, everything that's still left on the car for transportation. Sometimes you find really a lot of these stickers and also a lot of uh, foam pads everywhere to make sure that uh, the car, especially by the, by the doors, by the driver door, they need to be opened also by the transporters and um, well, they, they don't want to damage anything. So everything's still on this car. I always ask my customers, leave all the stickers on, leave all the foam pads on, leave everything on and I will remove it and I will make sure that this car is going to be delivered in the perfect shape. Because sometimes when it goes to the valetor of the dealer, they do a lot of things, they, they uh, remove badges from the rear end, that sort of things, but in a wrong way and then I have to... Um, correct a lot of deep scratches also some some damages even uh, so please ask your dealer if it is possible to to deliver the car directly as it came in at their dealership so i'm going to remove everything now and um, well, let me show you what's still on this car so let's do a quick walk around you can see that there is a type sticker here there's also some stickers on the wheels on the rims there's a sticker here also here when they open doors there's a lot of damage over here this thing really did what it's supposed to do stickers i really like that the sticker is still on because these things really really scratch piece of tape over here also the protective plastic is still on here inside of the windows there are there's tape when we look inside we need to make sure that this all is going to be removed so let's go on to the next stage well one of the things you have to think about is you're still going to wash the car so and these things they really scratch easily so think are you going to remove them before you're going to wash them or after them well I always remove them after washing because when you go over it with your wash mitt or with a brand new towel or a towel it doesn't matter you're going to scratch these things so leave it on and wash it and then take it off at the end you know make sure it just stays on you can remove the rest but this all the all the high gloss parts that are protected with stickers just leave them on so 
So now on to washing. I'm going to put the Tiguan here in my wash bay and we're going to do all the pre-washing stages to make sure that this car is going to be really clean. Well, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. You've seen that all the plastic and every protection on the inside on the car is still in. I'm also going to leave that in and I'm just going to remove it after we've done the whole exterior of the car. And when we begin, we begin with the interior of the car, then we just remove it because now I have to get in and out of the car and I don't want to ruin the carpet or, what, or whatsoever or make stains in the upholstery or in the seats. So just leave it on. After rinsing the car, I'm spraying on the pre-cleaner to make sure that all the dirt that's on the car is more easily to remove. It just loosens the dirt when I'm going to rinse the car again. I waited approximately 5 minutes before I'm rinsing off the car again and I already noticed that a lot of the dirt comes off really easy. The next stage is called de-ironizing. The ironizing is making sure that all the metal parts that is also in the pollution in the air is going to be removed from the car. With this treatment you will see that all the particles that are attached to the paint will turn red. Here you see the typical red dots on the de-ironizing treatment. When you walk around the car you will see all these dots everywhere. They are really attached to the paint. With this treatment you are making sure that we will remove everything and sometimes you will get cars in that well it really looks like they are really bleeding and you will have to do this treatment like two or three times so this is one of the most important steps in pre-cleaning so here i go again another stage of rinsing because it's really important that after the deironizing treatment that you high pressure wash the car and make sure that all of this pre-cleaning all the deironizer is removed from the paint so after the de-ironizing treatment we're going to foam the car and foaming the car is just simply covering the whole car in a cleaning foam and this foam was making sure that the rest of the dirt that's still on the car is also loosened because not everything's off and it, the dirt goes into the foam, drips off safely of the car not making any scratches whatsoever and it's one of the most important pre-cleaning stages uh, before you even touch the car with your washing mitt. The more dirt that's come from the car, the less scratches you're going to make with your washing mitt or your towels or whatsoever. Okay, I always wash with two buckets, uh, normally three, but I'm going to take the rims off, that's easier. The rims are not so very dirty, so it's easier just to take them off. We always take them off and clean them separate, so um, you can also reach the inside, that sort of thing. And the wheel arches, that it's much easier to clean. In this case I'm going to use the shampoo from Great Lion. They sent me a package with a lot of stuff and uh, for me to test. Let's try it. So normally I use wash bits for washing the car, but this time microfiber towels. So I, uh, th these are brand new, you know, not washed, brand new towels to make sure that I'm not going to make any more scratches on this car and I would like to keep it in a mint condition uh, or as scratchless as possible. So um, just put them in here and make sure that, um, that they are inside the clean bucket with the shampoo and uh, well the reason why I'm taking more because I'm also starting on top then work my way all the way to the bottom and uh, I'm using separate towels for that and reason you know uh, if the towel is, is dirty and I'm not going to get it any more cleaner in the, in the rinse water then just I'm, I'm leaving it over here and I'm taking another towel.
always use a hose to rinse off the car because when you do it with high pressure water you will get a lot of uh, vapor, water vapor, it just drops down on the car and makes the car wet again and uh, when you do it with an open hose then the car is just not so wet especially when a car is coated and you just rinse it off then well you've seen some other videos I think already on, on YouTube you see some guys that are really drying the car with, uh, with water and that's really true you can dry the car with water you have to try it at home if you have a ceramic coating on your car and you will be amazed So the whole car is clean and now I'm going to dry the car. You can do this with a drying towel but also with air. Now I'm using the air blower, it's an 8 horsepower air blower so that's enough air to just blow the water away. Also between the edges it's very simple, very easy. Especially when you go on with polishing you need to, go, you need to know that all the water is gone. You can also use a combination of the two like the, 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 the air blower and also of course the drying towel. Normally I will do this but now I'm going to see how far I can get with only using the air blower. So I'm going to protect my ears with my headphones and turn some music on because this is really going to make some noise. After the washing and the car is completely clean, I've put her onto my car lift and making sure that it's going to be taped off. I've also taped off all the windows because I really hate dust and the plastics that I'm using is really static. So all the dust that's flying in the air or just uh, comes free with polishing, a lot of it just sticks to the plastics and when you take it off it's inside the plastic and not on the car and it really saves you a lot of time. Also all the sensitive parts that you don't want to hit with your polishing pad, uh, all the plastic parts because when you hit it, it will make sure that you have a nice white spot and you have to clean it again. So always make sure that all the sensitive parts are being taped off, especially here also at the mirrors, you have these uh, plastic lines that you really don't want to hit with your polishing pad. Also the plastic parts at the wheel arches are really easy parts to hit with your polishing pad so always make sure to also tape them off that you are not going to get white spots of polish residue. When we do a new car detail we always remove the rims making sure that we clean them off the car and not on the car. This VW is a black edition and that means that all the chrome parts are black but you know it's not that all the parts were blacked out because on the front of the car and also the badges at the sides of the car were still grown. So when we do a, a grown delete like a blackout we're making sure that everything is black. So we finished what the dealer started and making sure that also the last grown parts on this car were also turned to black. Now that we've done the blackout and the whole car is being taped off it's ready for polishing. So the next stage is making sure that I found some swirls, not too much, uh, that they are going to be polished out. We're not going to start with compounding because that's really not necessary on this car. It's been delivered in a very good way. Sometimes you have new cars with a lot of deep scratches and whatsoever, but this car doesn't re need a really like a compounding stage. So we are starting with a light polish to make sure that some of the swirls that I found are going to be removed. And don't forget, detailing is about making sure that the scratches are going to be removed from the car in a less paint removing way. I hope you guys can see it here. If you look closely into the light, you'll see a light swirl, not too much. 
and on some parts of the car I find this swirl and this is what I meant that has to be removed. After polishing and the paint is corrected, I'm taking off all the plastic that I've put on the car and a lot of the dust that's still attached to the plastic will go into the plastics and then we'll just throw it away and this dust is not on the car. After polishing, you'll have polished residue like oils or whatsoever and you really want to make sure that before you can apply a coating, in this case, then that the paint really needs to be clean. and it's not just clean, but really clean. So I'm going to do that with an EPA wipe down. That's an alcohol mixture with water. And I'm going to do this EPA wipe down three times. It sounds a lot, but that's the only way to make sure that the paint is really clean. The third time you will go over the paint with your towel and the EPA mixture. You will feel that the paint is not slip slippery anymore. Um, the, the towel is just making a grip onto the paint and that's the sign that the paint is really clean. Modesta BC04 is the same as BC03 in application. It's called wet application. It's, it's one of the few coatings in the world that you apply with water. First I will spray on some water and also uh, I will make sure that my applicator is wet um, and then I'm going to uh, drop some BC04 on my applicator and spread it on the car in one nice thick layer of BC04. When the Modesta BC04 is cured for like two minutes, it depends on the room temperature. When it's very hot, you have to make sure that you will remove the coating quicker, otherwise you just can't remove it anymore. And when it's colder, you have some more time. I think my, my favorite temperature of the room is uh, about 18 to 20 degrees. So also one of the very uh, different things on this coating is that you will make sure that the excess coating is removed with a wet towel and that's the first removing stage. After the first stage of removing with my wet towel, I will make sure that I will do the rest with a dry towel. Otherwise you will have some leftovers and the water just dries up again with the coating. So I'm going to buff this part of the, the car that I've coated until it's been perfectly clear and there is no excess coating left. I am going to apply two layers of coating on this Volkswagen and the first layer is going to be Modesta BC04 Nano Titanium Glass Coating. The reason why I'm doing two layers is because I want to get the hardness from the BC04 and the water rebalancy of the BC05. If you combine these coatings, you will have just the perfect combination hardness and water repellency. I would like to explain something about the BC04. It contains nano titanium and uh, when you compare it with BC03, that's a pure glass coating. It just gives pure uh, reflection. Uh, but with the BC04, you have the nano titanium and when you just walk around the car, you have some different angles of reflections and that's the difference between O3 and O4. In the meantime that the first layer of coating is curing and I'll have to wait until the next day, I can also remove all the plastic stickers and all the protective things on the inside of the car. And believe me, in this car I find a lot. On the inside there are a lot of stickers also on the front window and when you are removing the stickers you will always have some leftovers. So what I've done is um, I took my glue remover and uh, just put it lightly on my towel and just you know uh, making sure that these parts where the, the paper and the glue is left are like not not too much that but they are um, 
applied with this glue remover. Now just leave it on for a few minutes and then you'll, you, you will see that it's much easier to, uh, to remove. Also on the inside there's a lot of dust. Uh, it's not really dirty but there is just a lot, a lot of dust. So I'm going to vacuum the car and making sure that the whole car is cleaned with a microfiber towel and some gentle cleaning products. I'm not going to use a very aggressive cleaning product because it's not necessary. This car is not dirty, only a little bit dusty. So one of the next stages is also cleaning the windows. There are a lot of fingers, smears, stripes, everything on this window. And I'm making sure that I've cleaned this with um, like the Angel Wax Vision. It's a very perfect glass cleaner. I'm spraying this on, on my applicator. And with this applicator, I'm cleaning the windows. And directly after that, I am making sure that they are clear because I'm buffing them off with my special gloss towel. You guys seen already in some other videos that we are applying PPF a lot on the front of the car. Uh, but also you can apply PPF everywhere, also here on the back at the luggage area. One of the major things that are going to be scratched at a car is the rear bumper, especially on the top of the rear bumper when you are doing groceries or whatsoever or you're loading some stuff in the back of your car. It's very easy to scratch the bumper. So in this case, we're going to apply PPF on front on the on the top of the rear bumper, and that's the luggage zone protection area. The second layer that I'm going to apply on top of the BCO4 is Modesta BCO5. And Modesta BCO5 is a water repellent glass coating, and together with the BCO4, you will just have a perfect combination with hardness and uh, water repellency on top of the paint. Also one of the things on BCO5 is that it really has a gloss that it's just it's a candy gloss. It's also um, when you look at the comparison charts that you will see that Modesta BCO5 has the highest gloss rate of all the Modesta coatings and it really is like you've put some sort of a sugar layer uh, on top of the on top of your paint and it really has a very high gloss rate. Not every coating is suitable for every surface. So this Modesta designed EPC, the exterior plastic coating. And when you apply this to all the uh, exterior parts, the plastic parts on the car, then UV light doesn't harm your plastic parts very quickly. And also all the dirt um, will not stick on the plastic because it's dirt and water repellent. And then we will make sure that all the plastic parts will, um, will look very good on a long-term base. We are also going to apply a double layer of coating on the winter and summer rims on this car. And the first layer that I'm going to apply is Modesta BC06. The BC06 is a spray on coating and when applied to the rims, you're making sure that um, it, it's especially designed for rims and the undercarriage of the car. It can uh, resist up to 1300 degrees Celsius of, uh, of heat. So brake dust doesn't really have a chance of burning into the rims. So this is going to be the first layer. And then I'm going to apply BCO4 as a second layer. After applying the second layer of Modesta BCO5, I'm going to infrared heat the car. I have two infrared lamps and each section of the car is going to be heated for 15 minutes. And this will speed up the curing process of the coating. In the meantime that I'm infrared drying the Tiguan, I'm going to apply an extra layer of Modesta BCO4 on top of the BCO6 that's already been applied on the rims. Together this is forming a thick layer of protection for, um, uh, for the brake dust and of course also the dirt from the road that it doesn't affect the rims. Um, the BCO6 is protecting the rims for brake dust up to 1300 degrees Celsius and on a normal car it's never going to be as hot as this but it's been designed also for the racing industries and in the racing industry it can be uh, very very hot and the brake dust can damage the rims so for this um, Tiguan it's going to be enough protection before I'm placing the rims back onto the car I'm giving them an extra layer of protection with Modesta M1 shot this M1 shot is um, is an extra layer that I'm placing on top of the coating because the car is going outside in the winter conditions. It's immediately exposed to salt, water, snow whatsoever and you can't wash the car for the upcoming two weeks. 
So in this two weeks it needs some extra protection. It sounds weird to protect the coating, but also a coating has curing time. So um, this is the reason why I'm applying this on top of the coating. I'm also going to apply this on top of the whole car. One of the last things I have to apply a coating on are all the windows. I'm going to apply a three layer coating system from Max Protect on all the windows. And of course on your front window it will wear down quicker than on the rest of the car, but it should protect your car or the windows of your car between 10 to 12,000 kilometers. If you are using your, your wipers on a very dirty windscreen with a lot of sand, of course it makes sense that you are wearing down the coating faster than when you are using your wipers on a very clean windshield. So, uh, but for the rest of the windows it will be on there for a long long time. One of the last things I have to do on the car is apply Modesta M1 shot on the whole car. Uh, it's the same as on the rims, it protects the car for the upcoming weeks that it's not being washed or going right right in the environment with the, uh, with the winter weather here. Um, I'm going to make sure that the coating has some extra barrier. Of course it's a freshly installed coating and it needs some more protection um, because it, it can go up to a month when it's fully hardened. And of course it, you can just drive and go outside only you have to keep in mind that you have to give the coating a little bit more of protection. So this is the way we do a new car treatment here at Rhein Shine. You see it's a lot of work. It's not it's it's a process that takes about four days and it's a brand new car. new car treatment means here at Rhein-Schein Detailing a lot of work to get this Tiguan done especially with a two-layer coating so if you like this video please give a thumbs up and you have questions for us drop them below the video we try to answer them there's a new question and answer coming up very soon so I'm going to answer a question that are dropped below the videos if you want to see more videos you can do that over here and if you want to subscribe to our channel you can do that over here Please do not forget to hit the notification bell, then you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. So, see you guys next time, see you guys in a new video. Bye bye.